Hi, my name is Jonathan Rice. I'm the Urban Bird Conservation Coordinator here at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. And today we're talking about a project uh, applying some experimental film to these windows right behind me. Uh, now these windows have been observed going all the way back to the 1950s, uh, causing bird fatalities from collisions, birds actually flying into the windows. And so we're starting a project um, applying films like these to the windows. And these films are specially designed to deter birds from colliding with the windows based on the spacing. Uh, of the elements on each of the films. All of this work starts with our research at Powder Mill Nature Reserve with bird banding. My name is Annie Lindsay. I'm the bird banding program manager at Powder Mill Nature Reserve. Bird banding is the process of catching birds, putting bands on them, identifying them, processing them, um, releasing them. We ban birds to gain information about populations, movements, and longevity, among other things. We catch birds in mist nets, we extract them, we bring them back to the lab for processing. In the lab, we identify the species, put an individually numbered leg band on it, and then process it. During processing, we take wing length, we measure the fat score, we age and sex the birds, we weigh them, and then some of them are released outside the banding station, and some of them are rebagged and sent over to the flight tunnel for a further experiment. Hi, I'm Rose Miserac. I am the tunnel technician here at Powder Mill and I run the flight tunnel. We're working with the American Bird Conservancy to test window glass. That's what we use the flight tunnel for. Currently, we're the only flight tunnel in operation in the United States. Our goal here is to find an ideal type of UV-treated window glass that can be used in buildings throughout the country and hopefully worldwide. It's estimated that about a billion birds die each year just from window collisions. I take a bird, I look at its species, I take down its species and its band number, I let them go into the tunnel. I see if they're going to fly to the right or left side, whether on the side with the control glass or the side with the UV glass. Afterwards, I let them go. I'm Ashley Cecil, and I'm a local Pittsburgh artist. In 2016, I did an artist residency at the Natural History Museum. I had free reign to focus on any topic, and I immediately gravitated towards bird conservation. During my residency at the museum, certain times I'd have to park a little bit further away and would find myself having to pass all the windows um, across the, the campus of, of the museums. And I did find dead birds from window strikes. And at the time that I did the residency, I thought that the window films on the market um, to deter those window strikes um, were pretty limited. So I decided to use my own paintings and drawings of local bird species to make a repeating pattern that was eventually fabricated as a bird safety window film. So I had done a visit to Powder Mill and saw them running the flight tunnel, which was really exciting. And on that particular day, they were testing some of these beta prototype window films to see if they were effective. And from that, I had learned that there are these parameters that the scientists have learned um, determine whether a window film is gonna be effective. And that was the two by four rule, which basically says that the visual elements in any design can exceed certain distances between um, the two elements vertically and horizontally. And that is what I then took to, to apply to my own design to make sure that it wasn't just aesthetic, but it was actually going to um, help the birds see the glass and fly around the structure. I'm Eric Dorfman, director of Carnegie Museum of Natural History. I'm standing here in the building and very excited about the window project that is taking place right now. It's wonderful to be able to bring the research that is happening at Powder Mill here to the museum building where people can see it right in front of them and it connects to the encouragement that we give people to do conservation action in their own homes. 